Praise the Lord, saints, and welcome back to FFT, Food for Thought Ministries, where we move with purpose and our walk with Christ over here. My name is Rokisha Muhammad, and yes, I am back with another Bible review. I'm going to be reviewing the Tony Evans Study Bible in the CSB version. It is going to be um, the Purple Leather Touch, amen, and the whole Bible was in regards to advancing God's kingdom agenda. So this Bible is focused on the kingdom agenda. And those of you that know me know that all my Bibles are used for specific reasons. And I have, it has a specific theme. So I know next year I'm going to be really digging deep into the kingdom living. And I'm going to be abiding in the Lord like no other. So I already know I'm going to be using my Abide Bible. And I'm going to be using this kingdom living Bible because I'm so wrapped up into the spiritual realm. I want to know and know how to operate kingdom, right? So what better to use the kingdom Bible, amen, by Tony Evans. And those of you who don't know who Tony Evans is, he is a popular preacher. He is the guy that we used for the spiritual warfare book. So yeah, if you don't know who that is, go check out the 10 part warfare series and he's all in that amen so let's just check out these features really quick and then we're going to jump into the review and um that's it amen so in this bible you're going to find elegant um design you're going to find study notes crafted from tony evan sermons and writings you're going to have 40 inspirational articles you're going to have 50 lessons on kingdom living you're going to have 60 questions and answers 140 hope words more than 120 personal application questions you're going to have a digital link to over 150 video sermons devotionals and teachings from dr evans okay we're also going to come with um I mean, some of the features are also page edge cross reference system. It is a black letter text. It does have presentation page. It has an introductory front matter, um, special black matter sections with key definitions, theological and doctoral charts and other study helps. It comes with a concordance, Bible reading plans and full color maps. Amen. So let's jump on into this beauty. Again, this is the CSB Christian Standing Bible. And here is the um, ISBN. Amen. So boom, here is the Bible itself. It is a purple or lavender Bible. And you can see it is perimeter stitched. I do have the Bible a little low, but because I had it like that. Um, I already tapped it because I've been using this, but not very much. Um, okay. Let me pull this up a little bit, y'all. Okay, it is silver gilding. If you can see that, get a glimpse of that. You see the le I mean the lavender head and tail bands. We have one lavender and one white ribbon. Again, that silver gilding is absolutely beautiful. These are just my tabs I've already put on here. And again, the silver gilding. And you see these little scrawny um, white and lavender ribbons. All right. So let's get into this really quickly. Pull it up a little bit more. Excuse the wiggle. All right. We see that it is a paper paste down. Purple paper paste down. Um, got this Bible in November of 2020. Tony Evans Study Bible, Advancing God's Kingdom Agenda. Amen. We see that the copyright is for um, 20, I mean 2019. This was printed in Korea. Amen. Um, Tony Evans Bible here. We have Old Testament, New Testament, and then we have the additional materials. All right. We have the um, study Bible features, which is the, um, excuse that, that's my laptop. Um, we have the Kingdom Living Lessons, 
on kingdom, personal, family, church, and community. Um, we have our hope words. We have our inspirational articles, our video devotionals, our questions and answers by Tony Evans, and our application questions and our book expulsions um, videos. Amen. It goes into who Dr. Um, Tony Evans is, the acknowledgments, the introduction. And then we come into this beautiful page here, which is very nice. It's very elegant. It looks very fancy, right? And it says, within our hearts is a desire to discover God, to see him, to experience him, and to know his story. Come on, somebody. All right, these are the features that we will be going over. So I'm not going to just study on this too long, but um, we will get into this. Amen. Um, welcome to the kingdom. Gives you an introduction of it. Um, one of the features that I love about this Bible is the scan, the scan of codes, right? You just scan your mobile device over it and it will take your right to whatever he's trying to do. Um, see, it says, scan this code with your mobile device or follow this link for the video of Tony Evans' teachings on Kingdom Agenda. So if you scan this right here, it's going to take you to his Kingdom Agenda. Or if you type in this web um, code, it'll take you straight to what he is teaching. Um, he'll have, he has a sermon on Kingdom Agenda and sermons. They're all right here. Kingdom Life Sermons, okay? Kingdom Family Sermons and Kingdom um society sermon so if you scan it's gonna take you to those sermons they ain't that cool i think that's so interactive and i love it right if i wasn't filming with my phone i would scan it and show y'all but you know i don't got it like that so you just gotta trust me all right so then it tells you here how to study the bible all right and the first step is read carefully ask questions pay attention to the context um be ready to obey and then you have pray the big story and all the little ones okay then again you have these scans where you, you he's going to break all that down for you right old testament come on this is awesome breaks down the christian standard version and what that means you have some um, words and words of god right here not words names of god right here elohim yahweh adonai adonai yahweh El Shaddai. Okay, look at that. Beautiful. Then you have abbreviations again in CSB. All right. And then we get into the Old Testament, you guys. This paper is just beautiful. I love it. Bam. This is how it's looking. This is how it's starting out. We have an introduction. All right, to Genesis. Look at the little crown. Ain't that beautiful? Then you got the video intro. So if you scan this with your phone, it's going to read all this to you. It's going to come up with Tony Evans and he's going to break this whole Genesis introduction down. Come on, somebody. And it's going to talk about the author, the historical background, the message and the purpose. And it comes with an awesome outline right here. Right. And then if you come on over here, let me just bring this down a little bit now because I like y'all to be able to see what's happening. Amen. I need y'all to be able to see. Now, we have our cross-references. It talked about the cross-reference and the features. Um, and they're all to the side. And as you can see, there's a little margin room here if you want to take notes. You know, if you're a bit note taker, you can take little notes in the margin. It's not a lot of room, but there is some room. Amen. So the way these cross-references work, everything above this little squiggly line, I hope you can see that. Everything above it, all of the cross-reference will pertain to the first column. And everything below it will pertain to the second column. As you can see, it is a two-column format. Amen. So again, above this little line, this first, up uh, above the line, first column, the cross-references. Below the line, second column. That's how you use your references. Amen. Then you come on down here. As you see, there's footnotes above. And then the study notes are below. You have footnotes along right here. And then you have your study notes down here. So this is just the basic setup of how this book, um, this Bible is. Amen. Then you come over here to your kingdom living, right? And then it tells you about the family. It's talking about the family. And then, then you can read this on up and get your information on in about the kingdom living for the family. 
Then you have, this is what the application question looks like. It's telling you to read Genesis 1 through 1, chapter 1, verses 26 through 27. And it's going to tell you what do these verses, these are the questions you want to answer. If you want to just take your little notes and dig a little deeper, you got two questions here to focus on once you read this application. This is what I like to focus on, you know, application questions. It's telling you to read that section and then it's asking you, what does these verses teach about family? You give your interpretation of what you read. What did the Holy Spirit give you once you read it? And then it says, um, how have you experienced God's provision in your efforts to manage your family and other spheres of life? Okay, that's good. So that's giving you some thought-provoking things right there off the bat on getting you to already apply the word of God. Very important. Very important. Amen. Again, we have some cross-references here. We don't have the squiggly line because there's only one column of um, scripture here. So we know that all these cross references will be a pertaining to this column. It's the only column here. Amen. And again, we have our footnotes and our study notes down here at the bottom. Amen. So let's turn the page. Boom. And then this is what a question and answer looks like. Don't you see this book? This Bible is already full. It is full. You will be able to dig deep and learning about God's kingdom. That's what we want to do. Amen. So you have here, boom, your questions and answers again. Here's the question. Um, you have called the kingdom agenda your magnum opus. Why do you view this book and philosophy of life as so critical and central to your life works? Boom, then you have your answer here. Again, you have your cross references. Okay, you got the little squiggly line. So that means it's two columns. Yep, there it is. Boom, boom. So everything up here is for this column. And this these three cross references is for this little section right here. Again, the format footnotes and study notes bam come on over here this is what the kingdom living um, um what is this called just the kingdom living i guess this is when it's on family the role of a helper you'll read this gives you a little background on that amen as you can see there is gold um headers or um what are these called i guess they're headers or yeah, it's headers, and then there are gold numbers letting you know when the new chapter starts. They're in gold, very elegant, very elegant. Amen. I'm loving this. I'm loving this. I'm gonna be digging deep into this Bible next year, y'all, because I'm gonna be all about kingdom living and abiding in the word of God. This year, it was all about learning his principles, learning his promises, learning his. Um, commands and his rules and that's why I was so stuck on the life principle bible by Charles Stanley because that's where I was at I was all about let me get this let me understand what his principles and rules are what I'm supposed to be doing now I can bump up since I know a little bit more of course I'm not going to let that go this is just in addition to right so I know the principles I know I'm learning the commands I'm knowing the rules of God so now I'm going to add okay how do I operate in this kingdom now so this kingdom bible is going to give me that that extra oomph on understanding of the kingdom. That's why I'm I, I'm a believer and you got to have more than one Bible. I'm sorry. One Bible ain't going to get it. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. You better get more than one Bible, okay? Because they all are different and they all help you pull out different things. Um, Like this one is all about kingdom living. If you want to know how to operate in the kingdom, you better get you a kingdom Bible that talks about it, right? I'm just saying. Anyway, um, kingdom living keeping the lord keeping lord with god look at this king you got your notes your cross references you got all these good gems who you got your questions and answers over here going on all right i just wanted to just show y'all they know you have over here boom here go a devotional right here scan this and this is called um super game sunday video devotional scan this with your bot i mean with your electronic device is going to open up and give you a whole devotional look at that beautiful beautiful love it so interactive right again you have some more um family rules on god's behalf you got some more kingdom living okay look at this again you see how all you have all this margin room so it's almost like a little like i'll say journaling and bible but again it got some margin there if you're a note taker you can take you some notes so that is a plus. And then let me just go flip on to some other little stuff here so we can 
um, see some of what some articles look like. Okay, let's see. Help me, Holy Spirit. I should have put some stuff in advance. Let's go. Let's just go to the poetry. Okay. So what the poetry is looking like, it is double column. Still the same setup here. As you can see, you have your study notes down here at the bottom. Sing, I mean, double column. Amen. And your cross references to the side. And we already know that it is a black letter text. We have here another question and answers. Look. How can the Psalms teach us to pray and praise better? Boom. Just little gems all throughout this Bible. They go another kingdom on personal, fearing God. Look at these little gems throughout this thing, y'all. I'm going to be up in it. I mean, y'all going to probably see, y'all going to be seeing a lot of it next year. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. And then here you go. You have a, a hope word, right? The kingdom agenda is the visible manifestation of the God's comprehensive rule over every area of life. Mm, mm, mm. That's a hope word. These are what the hope words look like. Come on, somebody. Let me read that again. The kingdom agenda is the visible manifestation of God's comprehensive rule over every area of life. You better have some stuff manifesting. What they say, you will know them by their fruit. You will know them by their fruit. That's a hope word. That's encouraging. Then you have your application right here. This is going to help you apply God's word. You know I love this, y'all. Y'all know I love the application. It's telling you to read Daniel 7, 1 through 14, and then answer these three questions. And it says, which images are emphasized most in Daniel's vision? Then you have to read it to understand what did he see. Then it's telling you, how do you... How do verse 13 and 14 enhance your understanding of God's kingdom? Boom, makes you think, right? Get your little journal out. Call it kingdom living, amen? Um, and it says, how have you intentionally served Jesus recent days? And then you write out how have you served him, if you even served him that week, amen? So it just gets you involved, get you pulling you into the word of God to dig deeper into this thing. We got to understand this. Okay, I just get excited about it. Here's another hope word right here. They sprinkle throughout hope words. It says, don't forget that God is calling us to put into practice on Monday the truth that we said amen to on Sunday. Come on, don't just amen it, apply it. Don't just read it, do it. Okay, we got to be not just hearers of the word, but doers also. So that thing that you said amen to on Monday, put it in the practice. I mean, that thing you said amen on, on Sunday, put it in the practice on Monday. Quit playing. Quit playing. Here go another one. Hope words. Life isn't about what you accumulate this side of the eternity. It's about what you accumulate for eternity. Come on. Look at this header. The cure for anxiety. Acknowledging Christ. Fear God. Beware of religious hypocrisy. Mm, mm, mm. This is good, y'all. I'm already knowing I'm going to love this. I'm going to love this. And again, we see the introductions here. You have to scan it to give you the full introduction. And it give you the outline. So you see the basic setup of this, right? Let me see. Did I miss anything? Let me just turn you. Okay, here's the article. Boom. We have an article here. Um, tearing down partitions. So this will tell you how, what is a partition and how to tear it down. If you have a partition up in your life, dealing with God and wondering why you can't break through or he's not hearing you or it's a petition up, something's going on. It's, and nine times out of 10, it's a hard thing. Amen. It's a hard thing. Here's another hope word. If you are living outside of God's purpose, you are living outside of God's power. Stop it. Stop it. Come on. Woo, here go another article. It's time for resurrection. Amen, amen, amen. Here's another article. He is for you. Come on, somebody. Here go another hope, hope word. Spiritual intimacy with God expands spiritual capacity. I believe that. Then you have another question and answers. You see how off the hook this is? I know y'all see it. I know y'all see it. Don't act like y'all don't see it. 
Hope words again, the quickest way for God to get you where he wants you is for him to be able to use you where he has you. Oh, okay. Where he has you. Where, right where you're at. He want to use you. Okay. Right where you're at. Questions and answers again. Um, and here's another application that you dig deeper on, on how to apply God's word. Telling you to read Acts 4, 2, 24 through 31. And the question is, what were the results when the entire congregation joined together in prayer? What was the results? Come on, you got to go read that to find out. Take notes. Look at that. You see how this did have you digging deeper? Look, hope words. Brokenness is often the road to breakthrough. Come on, somebody. Okay, let me get on back here. We have the kingdom living personal, the questions, the hope words. Y'all, y'all see these hope words. While other people may walk on you, Jesus will walk with you. Stop it. Come on. The way to access the power of our blessings is through a biblical understanding and application of grace through faith. Oh, my Lord. I'm going to stop clapping because I don't know how loud that is in the camera, y'all. I'm sorry. I mean, I apologize. I just This gets me excited. Questions and answers again. You have your full introductions. Look how elegant these pages are looking, y'all. Scan that thing up. Sit down there and read. Get your Bible, your highlighters out, and you about to have a ball in the Word of God. Your own personal time set you aside. Okay, I got two hours to get this done. About to do this study. Pick a book. You know what I'm saying? Or pick a topic and get in it. Get in it. Learn all you can learn. Come on now. No excuse. No excuse. No excuse. Anyway, let me just get on back here. Let's see some of this stuff back here. Here's another article. There is still time. Is it? Okay. If you live in it, it's still time to get it right. If you still breathing here on this earth, you still got time. Yeah, you do. And look at this. Awesome. Names of God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit. These are all the names of God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. Look at this. Do y'all see this? And it's telling you where to find it in Scripture. That is off the hook. All these names. Look it. Look at all these names. Did you know? Did you know? Did you know? It ain't just Jesus and Yahweh and Jehovah. Jira, you know, look at that. Okay, and then you have here your doctrinal outlines of God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. So now you got your doctrine going on, the knowledge of God, the revelation of God. The Trinity of God. The person of Jesus Christ. These are some excellent, these are going to be some studies that's going to be off the hook. And these are doctrinal outlines. Come on. Christiology. Stop it, Tony. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. Kingdom life. Keys to spiritual growth. Y'all better get this. I'm sorry. Y'all better get this. Is, you need to know how to live in the kingdom. Y'all better try to invest in this. Put $5 up. Every time you get paid and get this Bible, it's about 30, 40 bucks. You can do that. You got six months to come up with 40 bucks to invest in this Bible. I recommend it. Ask God for the increase, okay? And believe it, and he'll give it to you. Somebody will sow into your life. You never know. But you until you ask, don't expect nothing. Spiritual warfare. We already know he the king of that. Spiritual warfare. He's going to break that on down for you. Boom. He got a whole little skew to scan about it, Okay. Harmony of the Gospels. He got that up in here. Look at that. I know I'm trying to move fast now because my battery about to die. Okay. This is the Harmony of the Gospels. Harmony of the Gospels. Look how many pages. Then you got the, your Ten Commandments here all laid out for you. Okay. You got that all laid out. And then you got um, doctrines related to the parables of the Lord. Come on, somebody. More doctrine on the miracles. You see that? This is good. This is good. This is good. This is good to me. You got your Bible reading plan right over here. You got a three-year Bible reading plan. 
Okay. Damn, three years. Uh -uh. That's too long. Then you got the um, your daily bread. You can come over here every day to get you some word. The word of God in a year. Okay. This will have you go through the Bible in one year. That's more like it. Even six months even. Come on, somebody. You got your table of weights and measures. You got you a nice concordance here. Highlighted and with the gold um, headers. So elegant. Look, it's readable. It ain't too small. It's not extensive, but it's a little something, something here now. Okay, this is the concordance, y'all. Let me just get on, flip on back, because I'm about to end this. I'm just getting too excited. I'm getting excited. Okay, now we got these maps, and they're not on that shiny gloss paper. Thank you, Tony. Okay, this is on the regular paper. It's still a little hard stocky. It's not super thick, but it's not shiny, okay? Because he know elegance. You understand? He know, like that Tom, Thomas Nelson Bible review I did, it was all shiny. Now, this is what I'm talking about. Not that shiny, glossy stuff, right? Let me pull y'all up a little bit. It's not all that shiny, glossy. It's just regular cardstock, but it's not that super thick cardstock, but it is cardstocky. If that's a word, stock, cardstocky. Okay, yep, I said it. Sure did. All right. And that's going to be it, y'all. And then you got your little purple paste down here with your perimeter stitch going on. So let's look at these little thin ribbons. I'm not, I'm not too, too fond of these ribbons here, um, but they are long enough to, to use. Amen, we can see that. This little purple um, or lavender, I don't know if you wanna call it purple or lavender, okay? It is satin on both sides, so that's good. It's just thin, okay? Right, and this is, I don't know, it's white, I guess, white, cream. I don't know, it ain't white, maybe it's cream. Thin, but cute. Okay, let me read this last hope word and we are gonna end on this. Hope words. Peace does not mean that you will not have problems. Peace means that your problems will not have you. I'm gonna drop the mic right there. If I had a mic, I would be dropping it. Okay, that's how we're going to end this right <laughs> We're going to end this right now in the name of Jesus, okay? Look at this beautiful, elegant book, Kingdom Living, y'all. This When you pick this Bible up, you're going to feel like straight royalty because I know I do. You got your scanners, the interactiveness going on. You're going to have your nice outlines. You're going to have your introductions. If you don't want to read this, you just scan your Bible. He'll read it to you personally like you, he in the building teaching you one-on-one. -on -one. Who don't want that? You got your application questions that help you dig deeper into the word. You got your study notes help you down here to break this word down on top of your cross references. Win-win. Get you one of these. Get you one of these and quit playing. Put $5 up. Ask the Lord to sow into your life. You know, ask the Lord for some increase. Say, Lord, um, release my portion of the earth, okay? I need, I need this Tony Evans study Bible so I can get into this word and learn about how your kingdom operates, amen? So I'm just gonna end that right there. I hope you enjoyed this in Jesus' name. Blessings, blessings, blessings. This is gonna be one of my top Bibles that I'm gonna be really digging in deep next year um, on kingdom living and abiding in Christ, amen? So yeah, be looking for my Abide Bible review. Um, I'm just waiting on my um I'm just waiting on my journals to come and I'm gonna do those both hand in hand. Amen. But anyway, I love you guys. God bless you and have a great and prosperous day. Bye bye now. And continue to move in purpose with your walk with Christ. All right. Bye. <music>